This is part two of how we can find the caller ID or the owner name of a phone number. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Sat from CyberSudo. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media for more content. In the previous video, we have relied on some websites to see whether they have the caller ID or the owner name of a phone number. We basically had to pro provide the phone number and see whether they have the color ID or the order name. Now, of course, not all websites have the phone number or the owner name of the phone number in their database. That's why I'm doing part two in which we will use some manual approach to get the color ID of a phone number, mobile number or, or a landline number. Today, we will heavily focus on using this phone number that we have and see whether it's registered on any other websites. And if it is registered on any other websites, we might be able to get some information that we were not able to get with the websites that we have used in the previous video. Now, if you don't know already, or this is the first time watching this video on this channel, I have a link in this description in which you get three things for free. The first thing is, CyberSudo OSINT Toolkit, which has a collection of websites that I use on a regular basis. The second thing, thing is a mini course on how you can unlock vulnerable cars using replay attack. And the third thing is how can you find a wireless access point password using OS X. All of this is going to be in the link in the description and let's start our video don't forget to like and subscribe and let's start our video so the first thing that i like to do is to see whether this number has been leaked somewhere if the phone number ha have been used to register on a website and this website has been bridged and then the databases or the database of this website has been leaked online i'm going to be using have I been pwned to see whether this phone number have been somewhere leaked online or not so the phone number that i'm trying to find its caller id is the following one so it's not a landline number it's a mobile phone number so we will see how we can find the owner name of this phone number so the first thing is i'm going to copy the phone number including the country code you can see that we have four nine at the beginning and what we can do is just go to google for example and say uh, 49 country code and then we can see that this country code is for Germany so here we have a phone number I'm gonna copy it and paste it and check whether it's been leaked somewhere online and we can see that it's been found in Facebook data leak we can see that the database that has been leaked online includes date of birth email addresses employers genders geographic uh, locations names for numbers and relationship status so what we can do or what unethical hacker can do is that they can go somewhere maybe go to the dark web and try to download this database and check and try to see what information are included in this database so by downloading facebook database that's been leaked on in um, 2021 they can see the owner name of this phone number the second thing that i like to do is just to go to facebook.com for example and click on forgot my password and then i'm gonna say not you because i have already tried this before what i can do is just to paste this number to see whether this number is associated with a facebook account or not now we already know that this number is associated with a facebook account by looking at have a have a been pwned search result so we already know this but in case you haven't got a search result what i can do is just to uh, use find your account by facebook and then search for the phone number let me add it again i'm gonna say plus and then search and here we can get some information now we can see that the first letter is s and he has another email address which is which starts with l by doing this if the facebook account were created using the phone number and this facebook account were not associated to any email address then when you put in the phone number and then click on find your account then it will immediately try and send an sms to that person including a, a verification code so i'm warning you by doing this you might get an email address if there's any email address associated and if not, then 
it will immediately send an SMS to the phone number. The second thing that I like to use is called True Color, as we have talked about it in the previous video. So I can just add the phone number without the 49 because it's already added at the front in the front. And then I'm going to say search. And you can see that we did not get any search result. So that's completely fine. But I want just to remind you that True Color has a huge database and you should always use it. And please keep in mind that True Color allows you to use its database only by signing in using your email address if you are using the web interface or if you are downloading the app, then it will take a copy of all of your contacts and upload it to its server in order for you to use its service. So what you can do is just to download this app on a virtual machine, on an Android virtual machine, and then try to run the app and use its service since you don't have any contacts on your virtual machine or use the web servers they have and try to connect it to an email address that you do not use at all, that has no contacts at all. So keep this in mind. Another thing that I like to do, since this is a German phone number, I like to go to Amazon and try to create an account using this phone number. Now, of course, if there is no account associated, this will send an SMS to the person. And if there is an account associated, then it's going to tell you that this user is already registered in Amazon. So you have to use a different phone number. So let's try to do this. I'm going to say create a new account. I'm going to add a, a name, for example. And then I'm going to add a phone number. I'm going to remove the 49. And then I'm going to add a random password. And then I'm going to say verify mobile number. This will just give you an ID whether this person uses, uses this phone number on Amazon. Because sometimes you can tell this might be his main phone number that he uses to buy stuff from Amazon. So now let me solve the puzzle right here. And you can see that this phone number is already in use, which is already associated to an Amazon account. Now this tells me that this person has an Amazon account that's associated with this phone number. Now you have to write everything that you find online in an Excel spreadsheet or in a Word file, because all of these information will come in handy when you look at them again in the future. So the second thing that I like to use is a service or a website called Dehash, which has one of the largest databases. If you would like to use it, it, it is not very expensive. I believe it was $5 a week and maybe 25 a month. Let me have a look. So you can see that you can pay $15 monthly or $180 uh, annually. Now, in your case, if you're, if you do not have the databases that are linked online, what you can do is use the service to find the uh, owner name or maybe any email associated to this phone number. So Dehashed actually allows you to search for email addresses, usernames, IP addresses, names, addresses, phone number, VIN numbers, or any other thing. Now, another thing that I found to be very good and cool, which is using PayPal to find the caller ID or maybe the owner name of this phone number. Now, if this person has a PayPal account, then what you can do is use your Sock Puppet PayPal account and try to and send him one cent and the moment you send this amount you will get the name that's associated with the paypal account which is also associated to this phone number now in our case if we want to check whether this phone number has a paypal account what we can do is do the exact same thing that we, we did with amazon we can just try to create an account and add the phone number and if it told us that this phone number is already registered this tells us that this person has a PayPal account and this method allows you to find the owner name of an email address and a phone number because you can send an amount of money to either a phone number or to an email address you have. Now the one very important thing that we should not forget is to search this number in Google. So I'm going to use Google right here and put the number into two quotation marks and then hit enter. And you can see that we have got one search result, which is of someone trying to sell a database that contains 6 million records. So when we try and open this link right here, 
you can see that the format of the database is the following and it's a Facebook database that were leaked online and this is only like a market that you can or hackers use to download some databases so you can see that this is the phone number that we are looking at and this is the ID of the Facebook profile so if we try to copy this ID and typed facebook.com and then pasted the ID of the profile and then hit enter we will be able to see this person Facebook profile and you can see it's called Sven uh, Liebscher I believe so when we looked at the email address format it was s and then stars and he had another email which started with l now s i believe s is for sven and the l was for liebscher so this is the person profile and we were able to get his first and last name as well as his facebook profile now another thing that i do like to do is if you have an old iPhone that you are not using anymore, what you can do is try and add a new contact and add the phone number that you are trying to find its owner name. And then a small window will pop up and tell you whether this device has a FaceTime or not. So let's take an example. So here I'm trying to add a new contact and I'm gonna say any name for example. And then I'm going to add a new phone number and I'm going to add the country code and then the phone number that I'm trying to find its color ID. And when I say done, you can see that it tells, it tells me that this device has a FaceTime, which will tell me that the owner of this uh, phone number has an iPhone. So if we try to change this phone number to anything else, for example, um, 33 and then say done, you can see that the FaceTime window did not pop up this time. Another very good thing that you can do is that save this person in your contacts and go to WhatsApp and find the people who have WhatsApp. So if you have saved this person with the name John, for example, go and search for John in WhatsApp and sometimes you will be able to find his picture or her picture in WhatsApp if it's public and you will see the bio that they have added. Some people add their names in the bio and that's why it's very important to use not only WhatsApp but also different apps like Emo, Viber or any other program that access your contacts because sometimes you will find those people are registered in these apps and even TikTok if you went and add or if there's any person who have registered to TikTok using their phone numbers you can go to TikTok and go and click on find friends you will get some suggested friends but if you are using an empty phone that has no contacts at all and then you added this phone number then you might be able to find their username and their photo on TikTok the last thing that I would like to show you is a tool that you can install it on your Linux machine whether it's Kali, Ubuntu or any other Linux machine is called Phone Infoga. And Phone Infoga will try to use different Google dorks to see whether your phone number or someone's phone number is somewhere on Google. You can download this tool from GitHub from their official page and they have uh, an instruction manual right here to show you how you can download it and install it on your Kali Linux or on your Binto or any Linux distribution. So what we're going to do right here is open the terminal and after installing, downloading and installing Phone Infoga, I'm gonna say Phone Infoga and then minus H to see the options that they provide. And they have two interfaces. The first one is the command line interface and the second one is the web interface, which is my favorite. So I'm going to start with the command line interface. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say Phone Infoga and then scan hyphen N and here you will add the number. And of course you don't for you have to not forget that you have to add it including the country code so I'm gonna say enter and here it's going to tell you some information about this phone number like this phone number is from Germany and this is the raw phone number and here are some Google dorks that you can use for example if we try it and open this link it's going to use a certain dork to try and see whether this phone number is somewhere in Google so this is the command line interface 
what I'm going to do right now is that I am going to use the web interface and this is by using the command serve and now it's listening on port 5000 so what I have to do is just to go to my browser and then say localhost and then 5000 and then enter and here is phone in Foga. The first thing I have to do is just to add the country code, which is in my case, it's Germany. And now I'm going to add the phone number and then I'm going to say look up. And as you can see here, we can get some information. We can see whether this uh, format is valid or not. And you can see here it's true. So if we try to add any other number and say look up, it's also telling us it's true. Let me add another zero and you can see it's false so the cool thing here is that it actually checks whether the format of the phone number is correct or not so if someone gave you a phone number you want to check whether this format is correct or not you can use phone infoga but for us let's have a look at the um, dorks that they have and we can see that you can provide multiple api keys to check on multiple platforms platforms but in our case we are going to use google search now it's gonna check in social media dispos disposable providers because this my phone number might be disposable reputation it's gonna check this in the reputation websites because sometimes you get a scam call and you want to check whether this phone number is a scam or not so here uh, comes the reputation and you have general and individual I like to use the general one so here it's showing you the dork that's been used and here is a direct URL to see it and as you can see that this phone number has been found multiple times on many websites right here and here you can see that it's without a country code right here and here it is with country code so this is or this research result is something that we have not got when we search for the phone number at the, in the first time using Google now let's try to use the second dork and as you can see here I've got uh, some search result and what you can do is just try and speculate open the links and see what information can you get now if you are someone who is searching for his own phone number and trying to see whether this phone number is leaked online or not and if you were able to find your phone number leaked in a certain database and it's on Google what you can do is go to this page by Google and click on start removal request and then you can fill in your information and Google will remove the search result now of course it won't be removed from the databases that are leaked but at least it's going to be removed from Google and if you were able to find your phone number in Bing or Yandex you have to contact Bing and Yandex and fill in a certain form and then they will remove all of your information from the search results so that's it for this video thank you so much if you are still watching this video because not a lot of people watch the video until the end if you are still watching thank you so much and i hope you have learned something new i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i hope you got something out of this video if you have any recommendation or any video ideas that you would like to see on the channel please let me know in the comment section i will be very happy to read all your comments and reply back to you so thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon